Hi, welcome to another video in my series on centers of mass. And in this video, we're going to look at a uniform lambda in the form of a sector. So where would the center of mass be? Well, this particular shape is symmetrical about a line through here. We'll label it X, take it as the X axis if you like. And that would mean we've got a Y axis up through here. Now this center of mass then lies somewhere on this axis and we'll just put it here. We'll call it the point C and in the usual way it'll have coordinates X bar Y bar but Y bar will be zero. So how far is it from this origin here? Well if we label this angle alpha then this angle here will also be alpha because of the symmetry. And if alpha is an angle in radians, let's just put alpha is in radians, then it can be shown that x bar equals twice the radius multiplied by the sine of the angle alpha all divided by 3 alpha. And this is a result that I'm quoting then without proof. And you'll often find it in formula books or books of tables. So if not, make sure you obviously learn it. Now if we take the special case of a sector where the angle alpha is pi upon 2 radians, the equivalent of 90 degrees, then the shape that we get is obviously a semicircle. So when it comes to finding the center of mass of a semicircle, we know it's going to act along the axis of symmetry, which we'll just put in as a line like that. That'd be our x-axis. Our y-axis then would come up through here. And that center of mass will be at a point, say, over here, C. Coordinates would be x bar, 0. The radius would be R, say. And this would be our origin. So what would x bar be? Well, this is a right angle, 90 degrees. But in radians, this angle is going to be pi upon 2 radians. We'll just mark that as pi upon 2 radians. So x bar is going to equal twice the radius multiplied by the sine of alpha, pi upon 2 in this case. And then we divide that all by 3 times alpha, 3 times pi upon 2. Now you should know that the sine of pi upon 2 radians, the equivalent of sine of 90 degrees, is 1. So we end up with 2r all divided by 3 pi over 2. And if we multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 2, we end up with 2r times 2, which is 4r. And then 3 pi upon 2 multiplied by 2 just gives us 3 pi. So this is x bar then, the distance of the center of mass from the straight edge here, okay, which would be the diameter for that circle. Now, do try and remember these results. And in a later video, what I'll show you is how we can combine this shape with, say, a rectangle and create a composite shape and work out the center of mass for it. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then how we can go about finding the center of mass then for sectors and semicircles.